The Brunel scale characterizes the indentation hardness of materials through the scale of penetration of an indenter, loaded on a material test piece. It is one of several definitions of hardness in materials science. Proposed by Swedish engineer Johan August Brunel in 1900, it was the first widely used and standardized hardness test in engineering and metallurgy. The large size of indentation and possible damage to test piece limits its usefulness. However it also had the useful feature that the hardness value divided by 2 gave the approximate UTS in KSI for steels. This feature contributed to its early adoption over competing hardness tests. The typical test uses a 10 mm diameter steel ball as an indenter with a 3,000 kg force 29.42 kN, 6,614 lbf force. For softer materials, a smaller force is used, for harder materials, a tungsten carbide ball is substituted for the steel ball. The indentation is measured and hardness calculated as BHN equals 2 P pi d d minus d two minus d two display style operator name B H N equals F R A C two P pi d left d S Q R T d carrot two d carrot two right where B H N equals Brunel hardness number kilogram force per square millimeter P equals applied load in kilogram force KGF D equals diameter of indenter M D equals diameter of indentation M Brunel hardness is sometimes quoted in megapascals the Brunel hardness number is multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity 9.80665 meters per square second to convert it to megapascals the BHN can be converted into the ultimate tensile strength UTS, although the relationship is dependent on the material, and therefore determined empirically. The relationship is based on Myers index N from Myers law. If Myers index is less than 2.2 then the ratio of UTS to BHN is 0.36. If Myers index is greater than 2.2, then the ratio increases, BHN is designated by the most commonly used test standards ASTM E1014 and ISO 6506-1-2005 as HBW H from hardness, B from Brunel and W from the material of the indenter, tungsten Wolfram carbide. In former standards HB or HBS were used to refer to measurements made with steel indenters. HBW is calculated in both standards using the SI units as HBW equals 0 0.102 2 F pi D D minus D 2 minus D 2 display style operator name HBW equals 0 102 frac 2 f pi d left d s q r t d caret 2 d caret 2 right, where f equals applied load newtons, d equals diameter of indenter m, d equals diameter of indentation m equals topic common values. Equals. When quoting a Brunel hardness number (BHN) or more commonly HB, the conditions of the test used to obtain the number must be specified. HB is not related to the HB degree of pencil hardness. The standard format for specifying tests can be seen in the example HBW 10 three thousandths. HBW means that a tungsten carbide, from the chemical symbol for tungsten or from the Swedish German name for tungsten, Wolfram. Ball indenter was used, as opposed to HBS, which means a hardened steel ball. The 10 is the ball diameter in millimeters. The 3000 is the force in kilograms force. The hardness may also be shown as XXXHBYYD2. The XXX is the force to apply in KGF on a material of type YY 5 for aluminum alloys, 10 for copper alloys, 30 for steels. Thus a typical steel hardness could be written, 250 HB3O D2. 
It could be a maximum or a minimum. Topic: Standards. International ISO and European CEN standard NISO 6506-1 to 2005 metallic materials Brunel hardness test part 1 test method NISO 6506-2 to 2005 metallic materials Brunel hardness test part 2 verification and calibration of testing machine NISO 6506-3 to 2005 metallic materials Brunel hardness test part 3 calibration of reference blocks NISO 6506-4 to 2005 metallic materials Brunel hardness test part 4 table of hardness values US standard ASTM international ASTM E1014 standard method for Brunel hardness of metallic materials See also Multi-use hardness test <laughs>